think your voice cracked. Uh, no, my voice is shot. Uh, Stop yelling. We're not making anything. We're making Galliano. We're not we're gonna, making we're, it. We're, we're going pouring to. It. We're going to test some Galliano. No, what happened is, so all week, every night, wherever we went was a you bar. You drank and you drank and you drank some more. I didn't really drink that much. But I sat home and cooked and cleaned. Took care of the kids. Took Keep care going. of the kids. Right. No, well, here. <laughs> Drove them everywhere. I had to sit through painful classes all day long. In nice 70 degree, 80, 80 degree, degree weather, weather while I suffered in 30 degree weather. It was never 80 degrees you inside. laying out on the beach with your cocktail. N no. First off, there was no beaches in San Diego. At least none that I saw. I'm sure there's beaches. Second off, I was in conferences all day. Third off, at night when I'm in all these bars, the music's so loud, you're, the person could be right here, but you're yelling yeah. at them to like so they hear you. And then the next day you wake up and your throat's killing you and it's like all sore and so that's what happened. At least they don't have to smoke. They can't smoke in bars. Anymore. Nope. I didn't didn't really hit anybody smoking because they all have to go outside or whatever. You just have to walk through the cloud of smoke to get into the bar. Typically. I did see some places, not here, but in general at office parks where they say smoking 15 like yeah. feet from the doorway. Everybody who smokes in smoke front of the doorway. doorway. Guys, Guys, come on. Don't smoke in front of doorways. That's just dumb. All right. Anyway. Ew. <laughs> this, by the way, was was dropped oh, off by. I don't like that. By um, uh, by Peter of uh Spirit Cocktails, Galliano Ristoretto. It smells gross. It smells like coffee beans. No. It's like Patronix O. It, no. There's another smell in there. It smells like um. Black tootsie licorice. roll. It smells like a tootsie roll. It's that chocolate. weird like chocolate mold like. Mildew. Yeah. It's like that mildew chocolate. There's also some black Just licorice. Smell. Herbal yeah, black licorice. There's herbalness in there. Which is typical for garlic. I don't have a little bit of that. Yeah, but meh. Nah. Fennel. You haven't even tasted it. This might be the best thing you've ever no, tasted. No, it's going to be horrible. Thank you, Doug. Mm. <laughs> and this. Err. All right. It's not so bad, is it? No, it tastes a lot better than it smells. It smells gross. I don't taste any herbalness. It's sweet coffee. Chocolate. Some chocolate in there. And chocolate. Like dark. Um, Aftertaste of coffee. It's like you a put water in here? chocolate espresso. No, I did not. Ew, it smells nasty. <laughs> what are you going to do? Put water in there? Yeah, I was going to. But... See if it maybe makes it smell a little better. Opens it up. What are you looking for? I swear a light just came on. <laughs> um, if we have another flickering light, I'm going to be pissed. My LEDs, I already got one out. I got to go figure out what's taking them yeah. so long. It's been like two months. I haven't got my LED back yet. LEDs shouldn't go bad. No, still smells bad. <laughs> now I don't smell any chocolate. The chocolate is all gone. It's Now I just smell whatever that nasty... Oh, so it, so it amplified the nast. Yes. Well... Chocolate and coffee. Coffee bean, like roasted espresso it's chocolate sweet. beans. No chocolate. It's not um it's sweet. It's not like Kahlua where mm, not as sweet as Kahlua. I think it's sweeter than Kahlua. But Kahlua has the burn. Ooh, got me like right here. Um You you think Kahlua is sweeter than that? No, I don't yeah, I do. Mm -mm. Maybe make, the French vanilla one. Don't make me get up. Um Go ahead. Don't make me prove you wrong. I'm going to tell you what there is to be told. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. Right. Not the French vanilla. The regular. All right. This right here. Sup? All right, bitches. Let's trust it. try this out. Kahlua. Look at how thick that is. It's thick. Normal. Liquor. Yeah. Dis delicious. <laughs> Delicioso. Liquor delicioso. I wonder if that's a real word. Mm, but this smells good. It smells more like chocolate. Mm. This doesn't smell that good. It's good super to me. thick. Look at you can see it all stuck oh, on the side. It smells horrible. Why do I keep sniffing it? I I think it's gonna change. This is so much more thick than that. This is like pancake syrup. I wasn't arguing the thickness. 
No. Well, thickness is typically associated with sugarness. It's not what you do with it. It's how thick it is. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> no. It's definitely more raw. You know what? I get more alcohol after I drink that. But I think well, they're probably about the same 20, sweetness. 20% 20 ABV. 30%, 10 extra percentage on this one. Yeah, I bet that's you don't, probably I why don't taste so, it. That's probably why it's, it's, it's thinned out a little bit. Yeah. There's probably more alcohol in there than whatever makes that happen. I wouldn't say Kahlua is sweeter. You wouldn't? Mm-mm. I think your sweet muscles are broken. Nope, they may be. Well, vanilla is. All of the flavors are. Oh, um, no doubt. It coats your mouth. It's... This one is a more syrupy taste, but this is yeah. more. You get this more coffee more, bean out of this than you do out of this. Yeah, it's like a mix. Of, of, the the XO is pretty strong, but this one definitely has more beanage. Mm -hmm. This is more coffee flavor. I would equate this closer to like coffee ice cream. Mm. This to more coffee bean. Coffee. I don't roast. get a lot of coffee out of that. It's a coffee liqueur. I understand that, but I still this, get. I get more coffee. Black out licorice. Of like I took that last sip. Really? A little bit of black licorice in there. It, it may be accented in a cocktail uh -huh. um, that has real coffee and some other stuff in it. You may get that black licorice yeah. if it starts to narrow down those taste right. flavors. Or maybe it just disappears altogether. It's good. It's I, definitely it, a little more herbal. It's it's heavy. It's, it smell is nasty. you got to hold your breath and drink. That's, I think, the coffee <laughs> and herb. Or if you put it in the, a cocktail, then you'll probably be okay. But. Yeah, the coffee and the herb. Um, you, I don't think it has a bad taste. I thought it smelled more like XO with the roasted no. bean. You mean a bad smell? You said a bad taste. Yeah. <laughs> exactly what I mean. <laughs> um, this one is definitely thicker. Yeah. Uh, Quality-wise, I think Syrup. this has a little bit more. That tastes more like syrup. I don't know how much this is. Uh, so that could be a, a big difference. This could be like super expensive. This is a 375 milliliter, and this is... That's because a 750 you would take up the whole area, this and then you complain about it. Oh, no, I know. the Galliano. They like go up to here. Yes. It's crazy. Uh, but this is definitely got a different, definitely more syrupy. Uh, this is a little more. I think it would be good in a, in a higher class cocktail that requires not as much syrup action, not right. as heavy. Uh, but it may bring out different flavors you're not expecting because of those herbalies that are hiding in there. The little yes, herbs. Yes, the little herbs with pitchforks. Yeah, but I do like your drink. the fact that it's it's only slightly more obnoxious in a 375 milliliter bottle. I also don't feel like it's gonna last that long, but I could just, it could, I can't see can't at all. can't see anything. Holy crap, I thought it was just really dark. It is black. Um, so whatever, there you go. It protects the liquor. That is Galliano Ris, Ristretto, Ristretto, Ristretto. I don't speak Italian. Imported by Lucas Balls, USA, Manhasset, New York. So there you go, give that a try. If you want to try another coffee liqueur, which is always a good time. You do, it's not always about just using Kahlua. Mm, excuse me. Get something that's different. Just so, so you have something different. Then you can do your comparisons. Oh, we forgot our questions of the day. Oh, because I'm not sitting at the computer. Question of the day. Uh, oh, look, it says on sale for $18.99, regularly $21 on Drink Up New York. There you go. I shouldn't drink up New York. Yeah, that's where I think he got this, actually. Um, so, yeah, you're looking at $21, which means at $375, I think it's half for the size $375? No, uh, no, for $375. For a $750. Uh, $21 no. for no, a $750. No, 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 no. This. No, no, this. no, this no stop talking, stop. $21, no. $21 for this size. Okay, I got you now. But that's that's big, because huh? that big, big deal. Because Is that something, means... Something just went out over there. Oh, don't, I don't know. <laughs> Four... That would be like forty dollars for a bottle of this if it was big. Oh. Which is this is probably no more than so like twenty. Eighteen dollars. <laughs> I don't know what that is. So definitely, definitely a, a difference in quality, at least price wise, and you get more alcohol out of it. So think about that when you're doing your price. Yeah, but buying coffee liqueur, you're not gonna want to spend forty dollars. What's Patron? Probably for, forty dollars. Forty dollars. <laughs> oh, Patron XL. Yeah. yeah oh, the, I, I don't really the know. The coffee liqueur. You know, I, yeah, good luck. Coffee liqueur is going to cost you money. You just you got to deal with it. Nothing you can do with it. Don't have to deal with anything. You do. Wrap it up. Question of the day: What is the most? This is from the chat. This was a Q O T D from R Rourke. What is the most awkward bottle design 
in a there liquor bottle that you've seen. I think someone should design a penis as a liquor bottle. No, I think it's, I think there are some, I mean, we have some that are close. Uh, the, I think the most, the coolest one that I saw was the Texas, but that was kind of awkward. The one that looks like Texas? Yeah. Right the, there? Yeah. Or, uh, yes. I, it's off. It's, it's, it's cool though. I mean, um, I like the skull too, the crystal skull. Yeah. I don't like the actual it's vodka, really but I like this. It's not No, no, I was just saying. The, the skull, double like. cross is awkward. Because yeah, it's, to pour. It's, you have to hold, you have to like fist it like this, and then in the, or you have to hold it like this. It's just and that pours is weird. Right. Um, the, I saw some tequila. I don't remember if it was Patron or Milagro or somebody has a bottle design that's kind of a bulbous, and inside it has a pina, uh, the uh, the agave plant. Oh, that's with, like, kind of cool. Like the spikes coming out of it and stuff. That looks kind of neat. Instead of a worm. Yeah. Yeah, but that's mezcal. Someone should make a worm bottle for tequila. But mezcal has worms. Tequila I don't doesn't. Care. Well, it's a, then. It's a myth. Urban legend. I'm I'm accentuating the legend. Don't accentuate. I don't know if you. I don't even know if that's right. <laughs> Accentuate. Yeah, I guess it could, could be. You're ac I'm, yeah. I said it, and so it's right. This is what happens when you live near Boston. <laughs> it's the accent. You're, Whatever. It, it's very eccentric. We're teaching you how to drink. No! We're teaching you how to drink! Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Want some more? Want to smell it? No, it smells nasty. Ow, ow! I just punched the glass. Good.